hi everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is patience in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys how i made this beautiful deep v-neck gathered bust and gathered waist maxi gown with a smoked back waist using an elastic thread before we get started kindly click the subscribe button if you have done that let's get into it i'll be using this fabric for this tutorial it is a bit stretchy and it is five yards it is a crepe fabric i've gone ahead to draft the upper part of this dress this is the front and the back pattern so this is the half scale block i have a detailed video on how to draft these i'll put the link on the description box the shoulder to half length is 16 inches for the back piece but for the front piece the shoulder to half length is 18 inches so it is 18 inches because of this two inches for the bust that so if i should close the bust that the side seam of the front and the back piece are going to align so the front is two inches longer than the back because of the bust that so i'll be working on the front piece right now the standard measurement for the neck is three inches by three inches for the width and the neck depth like i said the shoulder to half length is 18 inches because of the bust that and on the bust pan measurement i used 1.5 inches for my dart intake now i'll be making other alterations on this pattern for the neck width, I'll be using 4 inches and for the neck depth, I'll be using 11 inches. It is a deep V neck, so I'll be using 11 inches and I'll connect it this way using this curved ruler. I want it a bit curvy, so you can use a straight ruler to do this. After doing that, from this 11 inches, I'll come down by 1 inch. That is to say from the shoulder, I am marking 12 inches. So I came down by one inch from this 11 inches. Now I'll mark my shoulder to under bust measurement. That is 14 inches and I'll come down by one inch. That is 15 inches on the side seam this way. And I'll connect this 15 inches to the one inch using uh, the curved part of the ruler this way. As you can see, there's one inch space in between these lines. I'll be cutting this out on fold as it is on the dress. Now I am going to be adding a dart on the neckline to avoid neck gaping. This will help pull the neckline together for a better fit. So I'm going to make a slant line this way from the bust dart to the neckline. This is about 4.5 inches. And I am going to be using about 3 quarter inch for my dart. And I'll connect it this way. After doing that, I'll cut this dart leg that is close to the folded edge of the pattern. And I'll also cut the neck dart to enable me close the dart, the boss pan dart. So I'll close it this way and use my cello tape to secure it. As you can see, this line is not going to align. So I'll just use my ruler to align the line and cut it out. When you are drafting, you make sure that your pattern is on fold and you take your measurements on both sides of the pattern. After doing that, I'll turn it over this way and align this other that leg. So if you draft your, your measurements on the other side of the pattern, you will see the other that leg. And I'll keep this aside. I'll also close the neck that and use my cello tape to secure it this way as you can see the neck is not going to align i'll use my ruler to align the neck and cut it out so i'll open it up this way the next thing i am going to do is to close the bust that
I've cut it this way and closed the bust that secure it with a cello tape and align the side seam and cut it out. I'll do the same thing on the other side. After doing that, I'll cut out this other dart leg and I'll be marking the midpoint of the shoulder this way and I'll connect the measurement straight to the dart. So I'll be cutting through the lines. I'll be using the splash and spread method for my gathered bust. I'll go ahead and spread these on another pattern paper. If you like, you can spread it on your fabric. I've done that and I used four inches on both sides, as you can see. So if you, if you want to gather the shoulder, you can go ahead and add, also add on the shoulder. Now I am going to use my cello tape to secure it this way. And I'll use a curved ruler to connect these two points and I'll cut it out. So if you like, you can use one part of the pattern paper to make this pattern. Just make sure you are cutting this one inch on fold. So I made it this way because I want to understand my pattern. I want to keep this pattern in case I want to use it again so I can understand what I did. So this is how it came out. As you can see, I'll be cutting out the, the fabric and the lining. So I'll be cutting this times two. And I'll also be cutting the lower part times two. So that is it for the front piece. I'll go ahead and cut this out on my fabric. Like I said, I'll be cutting this out on fold and I'll be cutting out the fabric and the lining. Now for the back piece, the standard measurement is three by one inch. Remember on the fabric, I used four inches for the neck width. So I'll add one inch here. And for the neck depth, I'll be using two inches. So I'll just add one inch. I also used 1.5 inches for my dart intake and like I said the shoulder to half length is 16 inches so I will not be taking I will not be closing the dart because I even need extra fabric on the lower part of the back piece because I'll be making a ruffle on the back piece as it is on the dress as you can see there's gathers on the back piece and also a smoked effect on the band so to cut out the band on the back piece i will measure this side seam here i have three inches i'll be taking the three inches out on the back for the band i'll be making with the with the elastic thread so i'll cut it out so i'll be replacing these three inches for the band using an elastic thread so for the gathers on the back, I've gone ahead to cut this out on another pattern paper. I added two inches on the folded edge and I connected it straight to the neckline. The neckline is still the same measurement as you can see. Also on the side seam, if you like, you can add one or two inches this way and connect it to the armhole. This is just to add an extra fabric for the gathers on the back piece. I'll be cutting it out this way on my fabric. I've gone ahead to cut out the front piece. I added half inch sewing allowance on the neckline and on this curved part, but I added one inch for side seam. As you can see, I also added half inch on the shoulder and the armhole. So I cut it out on fold, like I said, and I cut out two pieces, one for the fabric and one for the lining. So this is how it came out. So this is the one inch that I said I will cut out on fold. Now I'll place the right sides together this way. I'll be joining the neckline. I'll pin it down 
and then I'll sew on half inch on the neckline. I've also cut out the lower part of the front piece on my fabric and as you can see I added half inch and one inch on the side seam. I cut out the fabric and the lining. I'll be making my gathers and I'll join it this way. I'm gonna have to cut out the back piece on my fabric and I added half inch round. Using a gathered stitch, I'll be making my gathers this way and I'll ensure it is up to half of my waist circumference plus one inch on both sides for side seam. I've gone ahead to sew half inch on the neckline. Now I'll notch all through and turn it over to the right side. I'll make sure to press it down. I've done that and now I'll be making the gathers on the curved part starting from this folded edge I'll mark I'll go in by one inch starting from the folded edge and on the opened edge here I'll go in by four inches so I'll be making a double gather stitch from the one inch to the four inches I've done that. I'll pick both ends of the thread and make my gathers. And I'll make sure my gathers are even. After doing that, I'll bring out the lower part. Using one piece, I'll place the right sides together this way and align the midpoint I'll pin it down and I'll ensure they are aligned with the gathers so you can go ahead and adjust the gathers and make sure they are aligned now I'll turn it over to the other side and I'll place the other piece of the lower parts I'll also Place the right sides together and I'll align the midpoint, pin it down and I'll ensure they are aligned. So this is how it is going to come out. As you can see, this part of the front piece is at the middle. Now I am going to be sewing on half inch following the shape and I'll make sure they are aligned. I've gone ahead to cut out the facing for the back piece. I am going to place the right side together this way and sew on half inch. After doing that, I am going to make a double gather stitch on the hem for my gathers. I've gone ahead to join the front piece and this is how beautiful it came out. After joining, I trimmed it out and you want to make sure to press it down to keep it in place and you want to ensure the midpoints are aligned and the side seams for the back piece I've joined the facing and I also notched and turned it over and I made sure to press it down and I've also made my gathered stitch I'll pull both ends of the thread and make my gathers and I'll ensure it is half of my waist circumference plus one inch on both sides for side seam. Remember, I'm still going to be adding the three inches for the band. I've gone ahead to cut out the lower part of the dress for the gathers. I cut out my waist circumference times three and I divided it into two equal halves. This is the back piece and this is the front piece. Total length of this gown is going to be 61 inches. The upper part is 16 inches already. So this lower part is the front piece is 45 inches. So the length on the front piece is 45 inches. Starting from half inch that I'll use to join the upper parts. 
this is 46 inches so the lower part is 45 inches i'll be using one inch for hemming allowance that is 46 inches and this is for the front piece now for the back piece remember i'll be adding three inches for the band so i cut out length 49 inches starting from half inch on the upper part this is 49 inches so 45 inches for the length of the dress plus three inches one two three inches for the band and one inch for hemming allowance that's 49 inches for the back piece and like i said the width is times three of my waist circumference and i divided into two for the front and the back piece now for the front piece i'll be making a double gathered stitch on half inch for my gathers i've done that now i'll pick both ends of the thread and i will make my gathers I'll ensure it is up to half of my waist circumference plus one inch on both sides for side seam. Now I'll place the upper part of the front piece this way, the good sides, and then I'll align it. So at this point, if you want to attach a lining to your dress, you can place just one piece on the gathers and you place the other piece on the lining, but you make sure to add a lining also on the back piece. So now I'll go ahead and sew on half inch. I've done that. I've joined the half inch and this is how it came out. So for the back piece, I'll be using an elastic thread for my gathers for the smoke effect. I've gone ahead to mark these guidelines on the right side of the fabric. So I left one inch for side seam and I marked half inch that will use to join to the upper part of the dress and from the half inch i marked three inches for the band remember we are adding band on the back piece and i marked one centimeter to eight centi seven centimeter i marked the guidelines all through as you can see i'll be using my elastic thread to sew on the guidelines so i'll wind the elastic thread on the bobbin this way you want to make sure you are not pulling the thread after doing that i'll place it on the bobbin case so if you want the elastic thread to gather enough fabric make sure you adjust this part of the bobbin case you want to make sure to tight it so it can gather enough fabric now i'll start sewing on the guidelines like I said, make sure you are sewing on the right side of the fabric. This is how it came out. So half of the waist circumference is 17 inches and what I have here is, without stretching it, what I have here is about 14 inches. So you want to make sure it is less than the your half of the waist circumference, that's the back waist, so that you can snatch the back waist. Now I'll be attaching the upper part of the back piece. I ensure that it is half of my waist circumference plus one inch on both sides for side seam. I am going to place the right sides together this way and align the side seams and i'll pin it down so i'll make sure to stretch the lower part this way to fit in the upper part of the back piece and then i'll sew by half inch i've done that as you can see it is going to snatch the back waist for a better fit now i'll be joining the front and the back piece i'll place the right side this way and i'll join the shoulder as you can see i'll turn the facing this way and also by half inch i'll do the same thing on this side after doing that i'll join the side seam and i'll hem the dress I've done that and this is how beautiful 
it came out so i've turned the shoulder the side seam and i've also hemmed this is how it is on the back as you can see it is going to snatch the waist so to cut out the sleeve i am going to be using this fabric this is about 33.5 inches by 28 inches I'll be making a half circle sleeve so I'll fold it on bias this way and I'll measure the point where I have half of my armhole measurements plus one inch for sewing allowance and I'll mark the line this way and I'll mark my cap height After doing that, I'll mark the full length, which is 16 inches plus 1 inch for hemming allowance. That is 17 inches. So I'll mark 17 inches round this way. Using my free hand, I'll curve the arm side this way and cut it out. So I cut out both sleeves and this is how it came out. The next thing I'm going to do is to join the side seam and then I'll hem the sleeve and attach it to the dress. We have come to the end of this tutorial guys. If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? Kindly give this video a thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be updated when I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.